Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Anime Avenue, the show where I collect absolutely everything anime. But Naruto is my ninja way. And now with that out the way, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Team 7, camera flip. <laughs> It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today is going to be so much fun, because typically on this show, we talk and add a bunch of awesome stuff here into my collection, filled with Naruto stuff, being my ninja way, and other animes as well. But today, we are not going to be adding anything into my collection. We are going to be checking out somebody amazing in our team's collection, our man Mitchell behind the camera. So many of you guys have always asked me, like, hey, can we see Mitchell's anime collection? And and I never asked him to do that just because I never want to pressure anybody or make them feel forced to be on camera or do something, you know, kind of divulging into their life. For me, I film all the time and a huge part of my life is here on YouTube. But Mitchell usually comes over here, so we're going to be kind of going into his personal space a little bit doing this, so I never asked. But he's seen your guys' comments and now he's gotten his collection kind of set up the way he wants it a little bit better. And now is comfortable with us going over there and taking a little look, a little peek at his collection. So it's going to be an exciting video. I haven't been in Mitchell's place in like years. We're going to be going into his personal room and where all of his anime stuff is and taking a look at his collection and kind of showcasing everything as well. And if you guys enjoyed this video, we're going to be doing another video over on comfort cartoons too. Going over some of his uh, more spongy items and cartoon related stuff. So this will be one of two videos. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's going to be a blast. So we're going to hop in the car and head our way over to Mitchell's place so we can start checking out his anime collection and get to dive and learn a little bit more about Mitchell some of his anime interest. So if you guys enjoy this, hit the like button to show Mitchell some support. I know for a fact it takes a lot for people to be able to kind of just open up things for you guys or for the internet in general. So make sure you show him some love by hitting the like button and leave a supportive comment down below for Mitchell. Anyway, let's head into the car and head over to his place. Okay, so we just pulled into Mitchell's house. Let's head on in. A little bit of a drive, but we're here. Let's head inside of his actual room where he's got his collection and we'll start showcasing it from there. Okay, so we are here at Mitchell. As you guys yeah. can see, we have this whole wall of anime pops right here. He also got the keyboard pad here as well. And he's got a bunch of pops over here we're going to be checking out too. So we're going to go through them. I think we should start off this direction because you guys have not seen these guys right here. The Boruto Hokage wall pops. We're not going to go through them completely because we want to save that for its own separate video. But you guys can see there is a huge array of different pops and some stuff you don't really see on Anime Avenue often because it's not something I collect. But we're going to go through those as well too. And then we have another section over here that we're going to be saving for comfort cartoons. Kind of diving into Mitchell's past here <laughs> too with some yearbooks as well. So it should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and start over here though with the Hokage wall pop. Okay, so starting off here we have the Boruto pops and we're going to get a close in shot of each one but at the same time we're not going to pop them out and do 360s because the goal is when he gets the last one we're going to be able to put them all together and actually connect them to see the full fruition wall. But starting off here let's go with Hashirama. We have the main man himself, the god of among ninja. You can see he's holding out of this green stone. Me and Mitchell both don't even know what that is for some reason. If you guys know what the green stone is, I feel like we're missing something heavy here. You guys can let us know in the comments down below. He's got a little mini hat there. And then we come over to Toby Rama, who's like, I don't even need a Hokage hat. <laughs> no, I'm just getting rid of this. <laughs> you think I'm going to cover up this hair? And then he's got his fist ready to punch his brother over here. And then we have the third Hokage. We have Saru Toby here, which is the Hokage we kind of start off Naruto with. Then we have Saru Toby right there. We got a light now so you guys can see a little better. I love how they put like the freaking scar on his. Yeah, I was like <laughs> looking at that. I was like, oh, that's new. I haven't actually looked at these myself. Yeah, but it's like, it's kind of crazy to think as you go through all the Hokage is that he's the only one that kind of got old. Like every single one of them died or they're still living before they got old. Yeah. So you, you only have what, Tsunade and Kakashi left. But what happens to his scar? Does he like lose it over time? I don't know. I guess like maybe when he was young, he got the scar and they were like, oh, well, let's mold your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not going to heal, buddy. Good luck. So we have Huru's in there, and then we work our way over to Minato, and of course he is also, you know, he died a little young. He's he got his flying Raijin. Yeah, he's got his flying Raijin, he's got his, you know, hand forward, you know, he's the flash, he's ready to take off. But look at how much bigger the Hokage hats are, these are, compared to, really, to Hachirama. Like, what, like, why did they give you such normal hats, and then him, just like, one that doesn't fit anybody? <laughs> and then, of course, we have Tsunade right there as well, who was only the Hokage, who was the Hokage for a while, but the most brief Hokage, I'd say, is 
probably Kakashi. Come on, how can he not be your favorite character? Look at the steez. They even got a little boulder for him to sit on. And he's still reading Make Out Paradise because I don't know how many times he could possibly read that book. It's like, aren't you on the like third or fourth one by now? <laughs> nope, just still reading the first one. But we have all six of these guys right here needing one more being Naruto when we get there. So we're gonna hold out for Naruto before you can see them all connected. And then we're working down and you got a little demon slayer going on here. Right here you have the Kakashi cat here and we also have the Sasuke cat. These are freaking adorable. Some of my favorites in the collection too. This one is just awesome. There's also an Itachi cat as well too. We both need to get that one eventually. I was gonna say, that's like the finishing one for me. <laughs> yeah. Right in the middle, you know? And then we have Tanjiro with also his original master here that taught him the water breathing technique that he very quickly forgot and just never uses now. <laughs> but he's there. And then we also have Tanjiro versus Rui. And I don't know if we ever had a chance to take this pop out of the box and take a good look at it. So we'll be popping this one out so you guys can get a nice 360 of it. The first like real like huge battle that Tanjiro faces and we get to see Gyu taken down like nothing. So it's kind of cool to see how far Tanjiro has come from this battle. Speaking of not using water, look at that. He's using his sun breathing in this attack. Yeah, I mean, he's got half a sword. He's got to do something else yeah. besides the water. <laughs> and then we've got over here Shinobu right here. He got it at the Funko shop the day we went as well. We have Kaneo right here too and a little uh, Kaneo chocolate bar here, or no, cookie bar that's actually from Japan. Got that at the Japanese lifestyle shop. And then we have over here some Demon Slayer collector cards that are adorable. They have such cool outfits on it. We have Tanjiro, we have Nezuko, we got Zenetsu, Inosuke, Shinobu, and also Gyu. And then also in the collection there's a freaking awesome Rengoku Muichiro. And I just recently, because of the most recent season, now I have so much more appreciation for Muichiro. That's what I was to say. I, like, I, like, I kind of like Muichiro now. I he know. used to be so like, weird and like quiet, but now I was like, oh dang, he's kind of sick. Yeah, I can't wait to learn more about Obanai as well yeah. too. We have Sadame, Mitsuri, Tengen, mm -hmm. and then also Giyome. So awesome set there of cards. These are, I think these were like a celebratory like Japanese card set. So really cool to see the whole set there, but he's got these ones on display as like kind of the main ones. And then coming down here, we are now into the section that I really know nothing about. We, <laughs> <laughs> we have Bleach. So you're going to have to just lame off all these guys. I don't butcher them. You got Renji. Okay, so we have Renji here. We're going to be diving into the Bleach ones a little bit more because we don't talk about this very often on the show. Those guys that are Bleach fans, you get a closer look at them. So let's go ahead and take Renji out. I already love his freaking, is that a sword he's carrying that's made out of someone's like yeah, that's spine? A, yeah, that's, I can't remember the name of the sword exactly. You've used it on World, but it extends out. And then when he goes into his Bankai form, he turns into a snake. Damn. Okay, so here we have it. And Mitchell had to re refresh me. Yes, I have used his sword. You can see the sword inside here. I've used his sword before, but this is a way cooler version of it. Yeah. I have to admit the swords and like the actual weaponry inside of Bleach is like a kind of like hard to compete with it any other anime. Yeah, because it's just like, it's like they just transform and they all are very unique. And, and their swords are so ridiculously large. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like some turn people into like full on, like there's like a lady that turns into like a missile. So it's like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> All right, so that's Renji right here. Next up we have is Grimjow. Next up we have Grimjow. Let's go ahead and check him out. The first thing I'm noticing about this guy, he's got a damn hole in his stomach. This is Grimjow. He's part of the Espada groups. I think there's like a 10 of them. And I think he's like number seven. Uh, he, they all have numbers on him, but he lives with the hole because he's he's part hollow. Aizen makes him into a human form of a hollow. Oh, dang, okay. Probably easy diet for him. Yeah, yeah he doesn't have to eat anything, but like nothing. Really. <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> souls or humans. <laughs> Donut holes. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. There we have him right there. Grim Jow. That is awesome, too. So his mask is a mask, right? I'm That's a hollow mask, yeah. Okay, sweet. So you'll see some in the background here. We have some other pops, too. I have a hollow Ichigo, which I'm more familiar with. These other characters outside of Bleach, I really don't know much about, but it's really still sick to see them. Yeah, and basically all Espadas can transform into, like, different, like, animals or different, like, creatures. Oh. So he turns into, like, this kind of, like, a lion thing and fights Ichigo in that mode. It's oh, that cool. is dope. <laughs> So is it like a full blown like tiger or he just kind of morphs slightly, kind of like Nine-Tailed Fox a little bit? Yeah, they kind of morph, get like a little armor, like uh, physical things change on their oh, body. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Speaking of one that transforms like crazy. <laughs> so we have Ukiyora here and that one is a Funko Winter Convention exclusive. So we'll take a look at him too. It's probably one of my favorite Espadas. So there we have him and he also has a transformed form as well too that Mitchell just showed me that looks freaking badass as hell.
Yeah, he's like one of the only ones that can take two forms too. It's which is really cool. Damn. So then after that on that lane, we also have Super Saiyan Gohan, which we've seen this one on this show before, but this is the glow in the dark version. We have the Vegeta powering up, which I think I was with you when you got that one. I got these at yeah, we were together at Frankenstein's. Yeah, the Chalice Collectibles one there. And then we have the main man Ichigo here, which is amazing. And we also have the hollow Ichigo, which Mitchell got that one for like like forty bucks, thirty bucks, yeah. And now what does it go for? Like four or five hundred dollars six hundred dollars <laughs> yeah it just like shot up for no reason ridiculously expensive so that was like a, a huge pickup yeah hey, i bought that thing like three years ago i didn't expect it to go up i was like oh, that was a cool pop yeah, yeah obviously <laughs> he's just a bleach fan but like nobody could have expected it to be as big as that one actually blew up to be and we're gonna let mitchell take that one out of the box if he wants to take it out the yeah. box and we're gonna 360 of that one so we can see that pop in uh you know it's full form okay and then we have the fully hollowed ichigo so this is his full form here and Man, that thing looks mean as hell. <laughs> oh, he is, man. He's, he's heartless. Well, quite literally, it yeah. looks like. <laughs> That's because Ukiora freaking stabbed him through there. Damn, dude. And his hair actually grows out, too. Yep. And then he's, like, basically unconscious this entire time. He's just killing Ukiora without any, like, thought or anything. It's just all instinct. Wow. So you said all of them are based off of animals. It looks like his might be, like, a ram or a bull. Yeah, you can definitely tell with the horns. That is awesome. Okay, so we're definitely going to get 360 of him, too. He looks dope as hell. I think it's my favorite form of Ichigo I've seen so far. <laughs> When that released, I was like, oh, I have to get that. That, that is too cool. sick as hell. Okay, so next up, we've got Renji here, which we'll leave him in the box. We got uh, the other Renji out already. And then we got the Super Saiyan <laughs> Rose. The longest name ever. Yeah, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black right there. I do have the glow in the dark, but it's in Australia. Qu quite literally couldn't be further away. Yeah. <laughs> I also have Jiraiya and Toad. In Australia. In Australia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we have Ichigo in his hollow form. This is his hollow form, yeah, like his, like, in his mindscape. Basically, like, when he connects with his sword, this is like one of the bodies that uh, forms. I want to say the mold is like, well, not the same, but very similar to the regular Ichigo mold. Just kind of recolored essentially, right? And the sword's a little more straight, yeah. That is awesome though. I also have used uh, Ichigo's sword too. A couple of them. I don't, I don't think you knew you were using one of them at the time, but there is two swords you used. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the bleach. We actually picked this up together at Five Below in one of the more recent videos. And then coming down here, we got some Naruto stuff here. We got some, we got Mitsuki. We got another Mitsuki and we got Mitsuki Sage mode which is Mitchell's <laughs> favorite character in Naruto. As you can tell, they're on top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got Chocho right there. Then we have Momoshiki. We have the Glow in the Dark Sadana, which I think I maybe don't have or barely got recently. I did not know they had a Glow in the Dark one, so, you know, bought the other one anyway. And then now we have Kawaki here, who is, I don't have this one either. I mean, I see he got the freaking mean, uh... He's got the karma going on. He's got his little staff. He's got the blonde butts cut on the sides there. He looks sick, though, but I do not have that one, so we'll definitely have to get a 360 of him. We have the glow in the dark with Rasengan Boruto, and then we have Shikadai. <laughs> Randomly. But... <laughs> I wasn't thinking that just like Shikadai out of nowhere. Because it's I like, like Shikamaru, and so Shikadai was like the next best thing that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't have Shikamaru yet. And then we'll be 360-ing these guys too. You got Tamaki. I'm gonna try my best to say their names because it's like, it's hard. <laughs> Mitchell can correct me. Uh, Princess Hibana. Hibana. Princess Hibana here. We have Shinra. Yep, we Shinra. Have that... Arthur. <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> we got Maki here, and then we've got from Hunter Hunter. We've got Karapika with the scarlet eyes and also Kite that he got for a way cheaper price than myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jujutsu Kaisen. This is like the perfect item to have for Jujutsu Kaisen if you just don't have all the pops. I just want the main four, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just the whole crew there with the glow in the dark. And is the glow in the dark Gojo? I'm gonna guess it's Gojo or maybe Fujigoro? I think they all glow. Oh, damn, that's freaking sick. Sometimes Funko does that. In if just not, one. it's definitely Yuji. Yeah, because sometimes they do and just like one of them actually glows, but that is sick. You have the whole set right there in one clean box. And also we got over here the Naruto switch case here. Got all the accessories inside of there. We have some Yu-Gi-Oh figures here too. He's got the blue eyes. We have Slifer the Sky Dragon. And then we also have the Red Eyes Black Dragon here. But he's actually got another wall of Funko Pops over there. So let's go check those ones out. Also referring to Bleach, we're in Mitchell's office now here. You have Madara, you got Ichigo there, and also Tanjiro right here for wall work. I think we were at the fair when we got these, yep. right? I got these at the fair. Yeah. 
and then down here we also have his mouse pad as well too. And I love the, uh, the it's almost like a uh, Akatsuki keyboard too. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a Sakura like theme one, like not like Sakura herself, but like the I guess springtime. That is sick. So I just wanted to show you guys that stuff as well. Try to show you guys pretty much everything that we can that's relating to anime that Mitchell's got here. I mean, even his shirts anime. <laughs> Always is. <laughs> yeah. So then we have some of the other pops right here as well too. So I mean, there's some here we don't even have. We haven't even got a feature here before. So we'll 360 those as well too. But we have Orochimaru. We saw him pick that one up recently. We have Toby. We have Naruto with Rasengan. Madara Uchiha 6 path. I, I don't know if we have the glow in the dark one. I think we're still looking for that one. Yeah, I think we're on the on the hunt for that one. We got Kakashi, Sakura, Sasuke Uchiha, and then just Sasuke because he wasn't in Uchiha yet until he, yeah. got, <laughs> until he got them shot a gun. We got Naruto down here. This is the glow in the dark Funko Shop exclusive. The Ross and Shuriken. Yep, and then we've got the OG Naruto. See the whole OG set right here. This is the whole original way for Naruto. And Toby, I guess, up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Toby. I forgot about that. And the Rasengan Naruto as well. And then over here we have the Roman Super and then we have the complete Susano, which Mitchell was actually the one that helped me get the Susano for Sasuke, so that one's sick. And then we also have the Naruto Burian mode, which I do not have for that Boruto set either, so we'll definitely be getting a shot of that one, and hopefully we'll pick up soon. And we also have the King Reptar, Itachi. <laughs> I think I got the Renegon variant. Yeah, so there was a glow in the dark variant, and Mitchell ended up getting the glow in the dark Renegon version of it. What number did you get? 35 out of 50. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> that is awesome. And then he's also got his mouse pad here as well and then the Uzumaki Chronicles for PS2. I have like every Naruto mouse pad by <laughs> below. <laughs> and then we move over here which is Mitchell's. I would say I mean he says it's not his favorite anime. It's up there yeah. But I'd say it's almost topic Naruto is his favorite anime because this is the show that he's the most excited to collect for I've noticed as from an outside viewer. I'm like Marcus has Naruto so I'll do Black Clover. <laughs> <laughs> it's Black Clover so we have Dorothy here that is a Funko Shop exclusive. We have Charlotte and then we have Charlotte Charlotte Charla, yeah. It's just like uh, the elf form of her is called, her name was Charla. <laughs> we have the glow in the dark GameStop exclusive, Mariolona. Mariolona. We got Yami. We got Jack. We have Nozelle. We have Black Asta. Luck Volta. Or Voltia, sorry. No. Which is fitting for him because he's lightning. Noel. And the Valkyrie Armor Diamond Edition. This is the one you picked up. No, no, you didn't pick I this didn't, one up either. I didn't pick any of these up in videos besides Nozelle and Jack. Okay, I remember this one for sure. I already had no, 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 Nozelle as well, too. And then we have Asta and my only Black Clover pop. You know. You know I got this one. <laughs> and then we have Noel here one more time. So awesome setup here. I think we're gonna get some 360s of a few of these guys so you guys can see them a little bit further. I also have Mars from Black Clover on pre-order. He's coming next month. And I also <laughs> have the uh, the Spirit Dive You know, He's on back order though. So that would complete And every... that would be the last two up there. And that'd be every Black Clover pop they release? Ex yeah, as far as I know, except for like the, the common versions of the glows. That would be awesome. And then Mitchell has a freaking awesome anime shirt collection. I honestly don't even have this many anime Except shirts. <laughs> yeah, the Wonderland ones. I think I got Mitchell this one because I know he likes Butt Stallion so much. So we have this one right here too. As you'll see on Comfort Cartoons, there is a, a couple of Butt Stallions. <laughs> yeah, so Mitchell's got a bunch of cool anime shirts. You guys can see all the different ones right here. Some of them you've seen him wear on the show. Some of them you haven't probably seen him wear. But an awesome little setup here. You have more anime shirts than probably any other shirts for sure. We got Naruto over here. And Soul Eater. Soul Eater. Where's the freaking Ichiraku Ramen? Oh, there he is. I, you know I had one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't have the Naruto shirt, not an Ichiraku Ramen shirt. So, I think that's it. We also have the Bleach hat over here. That you got me, and I guess Yu-Gi-Oh up there. Yeah, and we gotta remember, up, like, this is, like, Mitchell is nowhere near to the compulsive level of collecting I <laughs> for sure. So, that's a lot of stuff for just, like, you know, somebody who's only recently kind of started diving into collecting as much. I'd say definitely Anime Avenue and Comfort Cartoons, you started collecting more, for sure. Yeah, like the Funko Pop, like, definitely shot up in the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. To me, it's a good thing. So, shout out to Mitchell for letting us come here and take a look at his collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You get to see what kind of shows he likes a little bit more. Get to see a little bit, dive into the different animes that he likes from Bleach, Black Clover. I mean, you guys knew that stuff, but to be able to kind of see the pops themselves and kind of see how his collection is growing, you gotta see him pick them up, but now you can get to see them adding up slowly but surely. And I can't wait to cover this setup as well, too. And if you guys want to see some of his other stuff that we were gonna be going over, even some of his yearbooks here from... Oh. You know, <laughs> this one I'm actually in. This is his high school yearbook here. We got some elementary school ones and a bunch of other little things we're going to dive into. You can check out the video over on Comfort Cartoons. We're going to be checking out kind of his retro, his nostalgic style stuff that he's got here.
here in his room. And also, Mitchell has a, a lot of Pokemon stuff here. We're not going to dive into everything in this video. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> yeah. But if you want to see Mitchell's Pokemon collection, that's also going to be over on Comfort Cartoons. <laughs> So that is actually it for this one. Huge shout out to Mitchell for letting us go check out his collection. You guys got to learn a little bit more about the type of stuff that he collects. Got to see some stuff that you never see over here on this show. So hit the like button for that. And if you guys want to support the show further, make sure you guys go check out the Patreon where you can sign up for as little as $5 and get an extended version of this video and every other video that goes up here on YouTube, as well as behind the scenes content and early releases. So check that out down below. And if you guys want to get $15 off of some collectibles, some anime goods, some anime Funko Pops are trying to add to your collection, go check out Whatnot as a buying and selling platform where I stream every single Friday. And not just that, you can use that $15 to get something for free. Or if you want to use it to get something bigger, you can do that as well too. All you have to do is sign up though and you get 15 bucks for free on your first checkout. But not just that, I'll see you guys in this video over here. But as always, I will see you beautiful Shinobi in the next one. Adios and bloop.